What's good, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for Er Thing, good and bad inside the world of Apple. I got it, check this out. I finally got my iPhone 6S, and it looks exactly like the iPhone 6, but can your phone do this? See, I can peek and pop, just like that, peek and pop. All right, Apple announced they sold over 13 million iPhones in the first three days of availability and topping last year's 10 million unit sales record. I'm enjoying the success, and even though 3D Touch is in its infancy, the potential is huge. There's nothing out there on the market like it today, and it will be a game changer moving forward. Peek a pop. Now, what else might be Apple up to with 3D Touch? Patently Apple reveals a newly granted patent for 3D animated maps that could be manipulated by touch and logically 3D Touch. The example shows a body of water that could be touched to then animate it, and in 3D view, that water could even be reflected against the surface of buildings. Woo! Not sure why I would ever do that. Also, they told us Touch ID was twice as fast, but it's so freaking fast that you can only see your lock screen for a split second. I know I'm not the only one with this home screen quickie issue. Now, the other standout feature we know is the updated iPhone 6S camera. Camera Plus co-founder Lisa Betney has been doing her iPhone camera comparison for years at Snap, Snap, Snap that show off the differences with every generation of iPhone cameras side by side. Now it's really worth checking out to see how each camera handled things like backlit pictures, daylight against a yellow helicopter, low light situations, or a group of pencils in a macro shot. Her verdict, not surprisingly, is the 6S is the best iPhone camera to date, but seeing how it has evolved is really cool. And if you're having trouble with bad low light photos on the iPhone 6S, users have discovered that it's best to turn the live photos feature off in these situations. The reason, a live photo is constantly recording at 12 frames per second, and it cannot leave the exposure long enough to capture more light for a clearer image. So the tip of the day in low light situations, don't use live photos. Also, Apple hasn't advertised improved water damage protection with the success, but as iFixit found, they've added a perimeter gasket around the 3D touch display, and there's new silicone seals to cable connectors that will greatly help to keep liquids out of its internals. Now, the silicone seals were described in an Apple patent earlier this year, and it looks like they've implemented them with the 6S. Zach Straley kept both the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus in a bowl of water for an hour, and they were both fine afterwards. But iDevice help put the 6S under four feet of water, and it didn't fare as well. So the new iPhones are pretty water resistant, but definitely not waterproof. All right, you can guess there's already a few iPhone 7 reports floating out there, I know. There's this one for a strengthened waterproof casing, and a report that Apple may ditch the metallic casing altogether for the next iPhone. Really, guys, the iPhone 6S just came out. But maybe something that has a little more substance behind it from patently Apple. Check this out, Apple was recently granted 28 patents, and the most fun and intriguing one an iPhone with a wrap-around display. The product with the diagram shows off a transparent housing and a flexible display assembly enclosed within that housing. You can see how the wraparound screen increases the available display area. <laughs> Samsung did it. All right, but it's a fun look at what could be coming in the future. Now, Mac OS X El Capitan is now available for download as a free update featuring a split-screen view, faster app launching, an improved spotlight search, and faster performance, so we'll be checking it out this week, but it looks like a solid update, and it's the best price for free. Apple also released its latest iOS 9.0.2 update that helps with bug fixes, Apple's podcast app from crashing, and more. And Apple released the third iOS 9.1 beta to developers. It's the iOS you've been waiting for with new planet wallpapers and the all new emojis we've been waiting for, like the burrito, and taco, more emoticons, and the middle finger that will be able to change skin tones. You know, I've always felt like I was missing the right thing to emoji sometimes, so thank you, Apple. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. Email me at theapplebite at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong for new baking recipes. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.